once in a generation, a game comes along that captures the hearts and minds of the people. It uh, might be a good game, it might be a mediocre game, it might be a great game, but it's not about the quality of the game. It's about the fact that it captures the zeitgeist of its time. The 80s gave us Trivial Pursuit. The 90s introduced the world to Catan. Now, the 21st century has had a lot of good games. Carcassonne, Ticket to Ride, Dominion, Pandemic, but without a doubt, the king for grabbing people's attention? Well, that game is Cards Against Humanity. The game is not without its detractors, but you cannot argue with the success that Cards Against Humanity has found. Its co-creators are all multi-millionaires. The game is played by millions of people around the world in board game cafes, in dorm rooms and college campuses, even at family gatherings. So many people are playing this game that there are people who have only played Cards Against Humanity. And it has inspired many imitators from personally incorrect to despicable friends and super fight or even crabs adjust humidity. I haven't lost my mind, that's an actual product. You may have friends or if you run a board game cafe you may have customers who are always taking Cards Against Humanity off the shelf and nothing else. And you may be at a loss for how to get these people to broaden their gaming horizons and try something new. Try a judging game. That's what Cards Against Humanity is. Players play cards, the judge judges them. So there are a number of other judging games out there, from Snake Oil to Schmovie to Fun Employed and Say Anything. Another thing to try would be games that leave the ranch control in the hands of the players. Cards Against Humanity is pretty much all filth all the time, and that's not quite what everyone is looking for. So try something like the Game of Things. Players are required to come up with their own answers to this so they control just how nasty they want to get. And if they want to get really nasty, they can try the game of nasty things. Same game, raunchier questions. Now one thing that these games require that Cards Against Humanity does not is creativity. You are writing the answers. So if you're looking for a game that leaves the creativity to the game itself, there are some alternatives as well. Hasbro's Funny or Die card game, uh, based off the website of the same name, asks you to match captions to funny pictures and the combination that gets the most votes wins the pot. Or, if you like, you could try Dick. Dick is by the people at whysoever.com and it is a clone mechanically of Cards Against Humanity, but it has substituted all the cards with quotations from the American classic Herman Melville's Moby Dick. Do you have a favorite replacement for Cards Against Humanity? Maybe you've got another game that you'd like us to use as our jumping off point for the next After Blank video. If so, tweet us at Snakes and Lattes or post it in the comments below. As always, you can send your questions to asksnakes at snakesandlattes.com. Oh, I'm too old for this. <laughs> Save me from Cards Against Humanity. <laughs>